Hello, sweet souls. Happy Sunday, October 29th. So I wasn't planning on coming on and posting another video this soon. I was sitting here shuffling my decks after downloading my last reading and doing a private reading, which I normally don't even do private readings on Sunday. But um, as I was shuffling the decks and I was thinking about the angel messages that I do later in the afternoon, typically, um, I spirit guides were singing that song. I think it's... Um, it's not Backstreet Boys, it's, uh, gosh, I can't remember. It's You Got the Right Stuff. You Got the, I'll post, I'll see if I can find the song. It's You Got the Right Stuff, Baby. Um, and I was dying laughing. I was dying laughing because it was just funny. I don't, I just thought it was so funny. So I pulled card to say, okay, what's the right stuff? What? What's this right stuff that we got? They're saying, you got the right stuff. It doesn't matter who saw what you had in the past because you got it, okay? What's coming in quick is a brand new door is opening up. Oh, we gotta pray. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending ill will, through thought, word, or action, turn to myself or the viewer, written call on the Holy Spirit, angel saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. It's new kids on the block. I haven't heard this song in years. And they were singing, you got the right stuff, baby. They were singing that in my head. You have this brand new door opening up, this brand new beginning, this leap of faith, a new start. It's something you manifested and it is connected to your career and finance. It's amazing. It's it's because you got the right stuff. Now, whoever is trying to throw a wrench in your wheel, trying to bring chaos and conflict, you don't have to worry. You got the divine backing you. You have divine protection. Continue to protect your energy, speaking your truth and cutting out what doesn't serve you. So you cut out this devil energy. This could have been someone in the past that abandoned or rejected you, but this is how this devil is feeling right now, abandoned or rejected. This could have been someone you were married to, divorce. This is someone that you were a long-term commitment. It's over. This was fated to happen. Why? Because God knew the intentions of this person. God hid who you were. God hid the right stuff in you from this devil energy. Because what's fated is for you to be aligned with Someone that's meant to co-create with you. Someone that's going to be honest and loyal and loving and speak their truth just like you. Libra energy, Libra Gemini, Aquarius, but Libra. This is justice. This is bad news for this devil energy. This devil energy is no longer confused. They know why they're under judgment. They know why they're, they're experiencing karma. They're drowning in emotion. Because now they know. They can see. You got the right stuff. You got the right idea. You're, you're heading in the right direction. You are highly favored by God. You're very spiritual. You have spiritual gifts. You know where you're going. You don't have to wear a mask because you don't care about anyone's judgment. You're confident and secure in who you are. And you're, you're going places. You're moving on to victory. You're moving on to success. Public recognition. Because you got the right stuff. You do. And then I pulled from this deck. The angels and ancestors. You're a seer. You got the right stuff. You got the right skills. You're seeing beyond the current situation. You can see beyond the veil. You receive divine enlightenment and wisdom. You're gonna see your seeds grow. They want you to trust in higher forces and ignite your passion. Really go after what you're passionate about this time. That's what they're encouraging you to do. Truth and only truth. What do, what do we need to know about you got the right stuff? You got the right stuff. Oh, the bottom of this deck. Oh, I actually, these cards came out. What's faded is this new beginning, this leap of faith. That's what's faded for you. Wow. Okay. What is this? You got the right stuff. You got the right stuff because you're awakened. You have spiritual gifts. You got the right stuff. That's right. You do. You know who you are. You know where you're going. High priestess energy here. Yeah, you got the right stuff. And it doesn't matter if anyone else sees what you got or not. The person that's meant to come into your life, this King of Swords, is going to recognize, or Queen of Swords, is going to recognize that value in you. Yeah, look at this. Intuition and awaken. You are so gifted. It's just unreal. Yeah, and you learned to surrender. You learned to surrender to the divine, and that's what's opening the doors to this cosmic connection. Wow, which is number 11, justice for you. Someone that is going to co-create. Someone that is going to be on your destined path with you. Oh, that's just amazing. This is someone that's going to see your value. That is going to be blown away by how much you have the right stuff. You know? 
They're going to value you. Feel and release. Release all you've accumulated on this journey. That's what this, this new, this full moon and lunar eclipse did. Allowed you to release everything. Life is an expression of you. Life is more than existing. You're learning to use these, these spiritual gifts in your favor. Helping other people. You know? Embracing it. You're worthy. Aim for what you want and believe in yourself. Stay strong and be that guiding light. That's what you're here for. And you are just the right person because you have the right stuff. You have the right gifts. Ground yourself and be love. Come from a space of love always. Love always wins. Love always wins. Oh, that's just a, a wonderful. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. Okay. So let's do. I haven't done this one. Let's do this one. What do they need to know? The collective has the right stuff. What is that about? You got the right stuff, baby. What is that about? You got the right stuff. Garden. It says, oh, I gotta put my glasses on. It says something lovely will grow from this. Yes, I definitely see growth. And it said, you're growing, you're reaping rewards. Then we got tree, let them go. You've let go of something that doesn't serve you who didn't see your value. They didn't see that you had the right stuff, but now you're gonna see growth because you surrender to the divine and you let go. Now we got mural, be your own first priority. Yes, being proud of who you are. Put yourself first. Lighthouse, don't doubt your worth. You are worthy of this partnership, this new opportunity. You are worthy of all of it. One more, thank you. Clover. Release your guilt. You have nothing to feel guilty about. Just because people feel uncomfortable with your gifts, that's on them. Let them feel uncomfortable. They're only uncomfortable because you are exposing their demons. That's why. Yeah, escape is come home to yourself. This is who you're meant to be. Accept it. Embrace it. Be grateful for it. Okay? All right. So let's see what else we got here. Let's do... Let's do the Queen of the Moon Oracle and see what comes out. Queen of the Moon Oracle. You got the right stuff, baby. My guides crack me up. They have such a sense of humor. But it's true. You do have the right stuff. Let go of worrying about if somebody else didn't see your value. Because you know what? We got somebody coming in that's going to be blown away by you. They're going to be amazed by you. So in love with everything you do. Yeah, stay focused. You are a creator. They're saying stay focused on what you're inspired to create. Ignite your passion. Yeah, these extremes, uh, whatever it is that you went through, it may have put you in a state of fear in the past, but you're overcoming that. You're overcoming that because you didn't love yourself in the past and now you do. You fight this fear with self-love. You got the right stuff, baby. You got the right stuff, one more. Thank you, we got two more. We got purity, snow moon. Yeah, you have pure intentions and assessing. Yeah, you know, you're assessing, but you're assessing with your intuition. You're using your intuition to assess situations. You're not coming from, you know, a strictly emotional or analytical space. You are really just assessing through your intuition. You see how she's looking at the moon? She's looking at the moon. She is using her intuition or he. One more. And you've surrendered. You've surrendered everything to God. You, you just trust. And you know that's what you have to do. Realization on the bottom of the deck. You know that that's, you realize that's what you need to do to have peace in your life. You have to trust God and surrender to God. So God's given you this gift, this talent, in order to help you navigate moving forward. Let's do this one. One more for the collective. You got the right stuff. Yep, 
We got the cosmos, creativity and vastness. You are definitely co-creating uh, the map maker of destiny, authentic purpose, inspiration, and free will. Yeah, you're being guided uh, on your destined path to be your true authentic self. You're, you're receiving ins inspiration from the divine and you've used your free will to accept that this is what your destiny is. This is who you are. This is who you're meant to be. And now you're co-creating with the universe. Again, we see the moon. Highly intuitive. That's beautiful. All right, guys, this is the reading I have for you. Uh, I should say my guides have for you. I hope that it really motivates you because that's the energy I got behind the reading is, oh, you have no idea just how amazing you are because you do have the right stuff and you always did. And now this person that's coming in to co-create co with you, they are also going to show you in their actions that they are head over heels in love with you. You you do all the right things in the eyes of this person. So it's pretty amazing. All right, guys, I love you. I hope that you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.